Okay, today let's talk about Lewis dot structure and how to draw them. Um, in this video, I'm going to draw Lewis dot structures for nitrogen gas, oxygen gas, argon, carbon dioxide, methane, and water. Okay, so here are the rules. In order to draw Lewis dot structure, you have to figure out the total number of valence electrons. Valence electrons are, uh, for example, uh, are the uh, the most outer electrons that you could see. So for example, nitrogen, when you look at just one nitrogen, when you look at the periodic table, uh, it's in group 5. All these nitrogen, phosphorus, and all that, it's in group 5. Group 5 uh, atoms have 5 valence electrons. So you would see So like, like that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 valence electron, the outermost electrons, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, draw our nitrogen. So we know that nitrogen, each nitrogen has 5 valence electron, but you got 2 of them. So you multiply by 2. So in total, we have 10 valence electrons to work with. So they're connected, so let's draw two ends. If they're connected, they have to be connected with one line. Now, one line represents a bond. And in one line, you, you'll you have, this one line means you have two electrons in it. So it's basically you have two electrons like that, okay? So whenever you see a line that's connecting two atoms, imagine there are two electrons there. So we just have used two electrons. So I'm gonna minus two from 10 total available. Now I have eight valence electrons to work with. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plot two on each side. That's two, four, six, and then like that. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Okay, but here's the thing with the octet rule. Except hydrogen, all atoms must have eight electrons, okay? But when you look at each nitrogen here, this nitrogen left on the left one, it has one, two, three, and then four, five, because line represents two electrons, right? So, and same thing with this guy. It doesn't have eight electrons around it. And we have used all valence electrons that's available. Now, so in order to increase the number of electrons that you could put in, what you have to do is, instead of having one bond here, you could form double bond. But when you form double bond, remember this line represents two electrons, so that electron must be there and that electron must be there. So now we have N, N with double bond, and one electron like that. Now, do we use all eight uh, or 10 electrons? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could put two more, right? So how about like that? Okay, so that's total of 10, 10 valence electrons that we're allowed to use. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. But does this satisfy octet rule? Let's see, this one N, you gotta look at the individual. N has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nope. It only has seven, and same with this guy. Okay, so we'll repeat the process. I mean, put those two electrons and make another bond. You could have up to triple bond. So let's see, we have N, N, and put three lines in between. Okay, that's how many total electrons? Two, four, six. Now we have seven and eight. Hold on, nine and 10, because we were allowed to use 10 electrons, right? There are 10 valence electrons. Okay, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, octet rule satisfied. So this guy's happy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So octet rule, this guy's happy, everyone's happy. And do we have 10 electrons? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, so we have satisfied the number of uh, uh, valence electrons in use and the uh, octet rule. So nitrogen gas, 
Lewis dot structure for nitrogen gas is triple bond with, uh, you could put these two electrons anywhere. Okay, like that. So this is the uh, Lewis dot structure for nitrogen. Now, let's talk about the next one. Next one, it's uh, oxygen gas now, O2. Okay, when you look at the periodic table here, oxygen is in group 6, which means it has 6 valence electrons. Okay, but we got two of them. So oxygen has six valence electron, but since we got two of them, we got to multiply by two. So in total, we could use 12 valence electrons. There are 12 valence electrons. <clears throat> so we do the same thing, just like before. There have to be attached, so just draw one line. And then one line represents two electrons, which means we could use 10 more. So let's put five, five each. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is total number of 12 electrons. But let's see if it satisfies octet rule, which means you got to have eight around it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so how do we handle this? Take away one electrons each and then make a double bond. Okay, let's see we have 12 el electrons now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. Uh, what about octet rule? Let's look at the left one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. Happy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. That guy's happy. Okay. So that is... In this video, I'm not going to talk about formal charges, but in, in this video, uh, uh, this is the uh, Lewis dot structure for oxygen gas. Okay, let's move on. Let's talk about, in this case, argon. Argon is just AR. Well, argon's noble gas here. Oh, it's in group 8, so it must have 8 valence electrons around it. So, valence electron is 8. But it's got no attachment, right? So just put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven eight electrons around it and he's he's happy he's a noble gas so it doesn't want to react and this is its lewis dot structure and octet rule is uh, fulfilled too okay so that's argon let's talk about carbon dioxide okay well carbon when you look at carbon is in group four it has four valence electron and oxygen has six valence electron Okay, so one carbon has four valence electron, one oxygen has six valence electron, but we got two oxygen, so we multiply by two. So when we add these, so we're adding four with uh, two times six. So in total, we have 16 valence electrons. Okay, so you don't want to put COO like that because... When you talk about, these are called um, non-metals. Usually, when you have something like this, non-metals, if it's on the left side, that's the central atom. You see how carbon's on the left side of oxygen? So we want to put carbon in the middle and oxygen um, side by side. That looks uh, symmetrical and that looks right. So we put C in the middle and we put O, O side by side. Since they're all connected, we use uh, bond here. So one stick, one, one line represents two electrons. So we have just used four electrons. So if we subtract four from 16 that's available, we got 12. Okay, so we have 12 electrons to work with. Let's put everywhere, let's saturate everywhere with uh, electrons, knowing that completing octet rule. Okay, so around oxygen we have two, four, six, eight because one line represents eight, and these bonds are shared, so you could you count it in a uh, carbon atom as well. Look at carbon, two, four, six, eight. So they're both happy. Oxygen on the right side, two, four, six, eight. He's happy, okay? But I think this is more than 16 valence electron. Two, four, six, eight, 10. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 20. It's too much. So how do you get rid of it? Well, let's reduce 
number of electrons around oxygen and put double bonds. But we have to erase the, the uh, electrons on carbon because if, if we don't erase it, look what happens. Around carbon, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 electrons. We cannot have more than 8, okay, in this case. So we erase those two electrons. Now let's count how many total electrons we have used. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 16. So we have used the correct number of valence electron. Let's see if they uh, satisfy octet rule. Look at the uh, oxygen on the left. 2, 4, 6, 8. Octet rule. 8 electrons. Happy. Look at carbon. 2, 4, 6, 8. Member stick represents 2 electrons. So carbon is happy. Look at the uh, oxygen on the right. 2, 4, 6, 8. So everyone's happy. This is the correct Lewis dot structure for carbon dioxide. Next example. Let's move on is the uh, methane. Methane is CH4. Again, carbon in the middle, and you we would have H's around it. Since they're all connected, let's make bonds. Okay. Carbon, as we have said before, has four valence electrons. Now, hydrogen has one valence electron. Hydrogen in group one, so it has one valence electron. Okay. Um, I said earlier that um, hydrogen can have two electrons around it. Okay, that's duet rule. Only hydrogen has two. Other ones have must uh, complete octet rule. Okay, so how many uh, hydrogens are there? There are four hydrogens, so we got to multiply by four. So total number of uh, valence electrons we could use is eight. Okay, so we put carbon in the middle. And they're all connected, so I draw bonds, four bonds here around it. Now, each bond represents two electrons, so we have two, four, six, eight. We're done. We have completely used all our valence electrons. And uh, octet rule for carbon, it's two, four, six, eight, so he's happy. But around hydrogen, you could only have two electrons. So around each hydrogen here, you have attached to one um, bond, which represents two electrons. So they're all happy. So this is correct Lewis dot structure for methane. Okay, last one. Let's talk about water. Now hydrogen, like we said, um, it has one valence electron, but we got two of them, H2O. So we have to multiply by two. Oxygen has six valence electrons. So in total, we have eight valence electrons. Okay. Water always in the middle. And then we put H's here. And then they're all connected, so we, we draw two lines. And again, you don't want to put H, H, O, because if you do that, look at this hydrogen here. It has two, it, it has two sticks, two bonds to it, meaning each stick or each bond represents two electrons. That's two, four. Four valence electrons for this hydrogen, which doesn't make sense. Again, hydrogen, the maximum number of valence electrons you could have is two, not four. So this isn't allowed. Okay, so we put, the only way to solve this is to put oxygen in the middle. Okay, so they're all connected. And we cannot form double bond here because if we do it, again, look at this hydrogen here. It's going to have two, four electrons around it. You could only have two electrons around hydrogen. So number of bond wise, this is it. And then we put the rest. How many have we have we reused? This we used two, four, where we could only have eight electrons. So that means we could have one, two, three, four. But I'm gonna put it here because water is a bent molecule, which I'm not gonna talk about in this video. Okay. So let's see. Oxygen octet rule, two, four, six, eight. Satisfied. Total number of valence electrons have we used? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So everything's satisfied. So this is how you draw Lewis dot structure for water.